Hey, good morning, Chris Naren. Mark Anderson will ask him for himself. How are you feeling today, sir? Great. The election is almost over. <laughs> I can just hear the enthusiasm pouring out of you, but really, we know you are excited and thankful that that's over with, but let's talk about voter turnout. How did everything go yesterday? Overall, it was very well. We're just shy of the record turnout, but uh, still very good turnout with over 74%. Great. All righty, and moving forward to, let's talk about how did all the super sites end up shaping out? Were there any difficulties that you would like to take the chance to address here on air? No, overall, the sites worked well. Uh, you know, I'll take this time to thank all those people that worked those 11 days in a row. Um, without the, them, the election would not have taken place. So uh, it's, up, it's to their benefit, the people that worked and did that job as well as they did for that many days. Sure, and we also know that Doug Moore, who we'll be speaking with later on in the show, won that race by only about 1,000 votes. Speak to the importance of that voter turnout when it comes to a race that was really just, you know, within that amount. Well, this just we could have easily voted that many easily that day and on Election Day. We weren't heavily um, participating on Election Day. We did up front, but then towards the Election Day, it, it kind of slacked off a little bit. But um, every vote does make a difference and shows in some of the, the races itself. Yeah. Talk about, do you know anything about the final numbers of the amount of ballots that were cast either by mail or in person yesterday on Election Day? Well, by mail, we're still working with those that have defects on their VBMs. You've got two days for getting them cured. We've got provisional ballots that we've got to look at and review and identify those signatures. There's over 100 of those. So we still got work to do uh, between now and Thursday at 5 p.m. That's when the deadline is to get any information. If you're involved in a provisional or a vote by mail that needs a cure, then you need to get with us ASAP because we have to be, have that done by Thursday at 5 p.m. And how do people then, if they have that issue, go about getting in touch with you? 784-6100, call and we'll begin that process. Okay, sounds good. And then, of course, moving forward, talk about if any recounts will be needed in Bay County in your process of moving forward now with the results. Where we're at right now, Bay County is not in the area of any recounts uh, in, at this point. As far as the state, we, we've got to wait for the rest of the state to make that determination. Okay. And then moving forward, do you have any idea just from your area of expertise about how long we could wait to know if a recount will be needed? Uh, the next day, the day and a half. Again, all the counties are doing their cures for their vote by mails and their provisionals and also getting all the numbers accumulated at the state level. Okay, Mark, any last words for right now that you would like to tell the viewers today? Christmas is in December. I'm just going to go with that one. Okay, hey, we know this man is tired. We'll let him maybe take a little snooze or a nap, guys, before we talk to him again, hopefully in the 6 o'clock hour. But let's send it back over to Chris and Aaron, live in Panama City. Mackenzie McClintock, News 13, Panhandle Strong.